In learning objective number three, session two, we're going to talk a little bit about corporate taxes and how they're developed. Again, I want to stress these are corporate taxes, not individual or personal income taxes. Uh, federal tax code states that uh, we will pay corporate taxes according to the Tax Reform Act of 1986 and the Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act of 1993. So we're dealing with a political process here. Uh, the rates don't increase uniformly with uh, tax brackets or taxable earnings, and um, corporations also have to pay other taxes like state and local taxes. These are just corporate taxes that we pay to the Internal Revenue Service uh, federal government. First $50,000 you can see on this chart of taxable income is taxed at 15%. The next 25000 is taxed at 25%. The next uh, 25000 is taxed at 34% and so on down the table. Um, all of these average out. If you were to do a weighted average across all tax brackets, you'll calculate an average of about 35%. Uh, but basically, until you get to uh, above $18 million, you're going to pay uh, mostly an increasing gradient, although you do see that uh, the, in some of the brackets they decrease slightly. They go up, 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 and then down, down, then up, and so on. Uh, the average tax rate across all these brackets is your total tax bill divided by taxable income. You want to know how to calculate this. So you take your total taxes that you've calculated across all those brackets and divide it by taxable income. This is what you pay on average. And again, that moves toward 35% on average uh, across all the brackets. Marginal tax rate in any one of these brackets will be the tax that you will pay on one more dollar of income. Um, so that's the difference between average and marginal, and that's very important to know the difference.